Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Elex. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in the Domed City. That's the dome up there. I wish. I wonder if I can get up there. I probably can, but not from here. We have a few things that we need to do. Last episode we helped, um... Yes, pick up the cigarettes from the from that. Also a flyer. Uh, we helped Cooper, who was basically trapped inside a city because he didn't have an ID. Because apparently he ate it or something. And we got city guards going around who, 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 who what do you call the thing they do with their nose when you where you just close one of your nostrils? I guess you don't need to close one of your nostrils, although it does become considerably messier if uh, if you don't. But you close one of your nostrils and um, and exhale through the nose very fast, and just the snot comes out. Yeah, it's good to see you. They do that inside of their helmets, so that's uh, I mean just a, it, it, I, I I still take the clerics as the Idiotists of of all the of all the factions because they did that to me when I found them in the in the other place that castle thing because it's just like oh you must be our leader welcome on in forever and then they were upset Vivian hi did I am an outlaw I don't see too many of you up here but then the clerics don't set out to make you feel too welcome do they but you should know that I There's don't a few. feel like that in fact you don't feel unwelcome of course I used not. to be one of you. I know. Traitor, you left Tavar and all that. But as it goes, I have tried all of the factions except the Albs. The Albs aren't a faction. You can't join them. It's, uh, it's only three, I think. I mean, according to my in-game menu, anyway. You were an outlaw before? That's a long story. If you're really interested in my tale, then I will tell you, of course. I'd rather swallow all the sand in Tavar than listen to her drivel. I didn't ask you. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Perfect answer. <laughs> Tell me your story. How did you end up joining the clerics? Right. I'll give you the full version. Well, the short version of the full version. That's not the Just full version. Just get on with it. Okay. I'll try to keep it short. You're not keeping it short. So, I grew up in Goliath in Adan. My father and mother were both born berserkers, and so that meant I was too. Back then, Bajar ruled over Goliath. Thought it was Bjar. As a child, I had no interest in the laws, of course. But when I was about 12 years old, one of the warlords came to our home. He took my parents, and I was left on my own to survive in the city. I remember him. I remember my parents leaving. And I remember me screaming. But everything else is gone. It's just a blur. What happened to your parents? Well, what else? They were exiled. Nobody ever told me why they were exiled. I still don't know what they did, even today. I hate the Berserker laws. Nothing against the Berserkers. They're just people. It's the laws I hate. I think what the Berserkers want to do with Magellan is right. But I can never forgive them for what they did to my parents. Why was I punished for whatever my parents did? Why wasn't I told what had happened? I swore never to return, and I haven't set foot in Idan again. I don't know what that was, but I guess we got the gist of it. Where did you go? Wherever I needed to, to survive. That meant running from reavers and wild animals. It didn't take long for some reavers to take me captive. And then, I don't want to talk about that. I was lucky, though. After several years, the Reavers were attacked by some of the Duke's outlaws, and they took me back to Tavar. I learned how to fight, how to live off scrap. Life wasn't much different for me, Dan, but there wasn't the same raptor shit. The laws. You could be who you were, and no one judged you. Oh, they judged you. Oh, they judged you. Just you asked that other guy that I... Who was the... I don't remember. Uh, that guy that, um, that were, was tasked on getting scrap. Oh, they judge you. Oh, yes, they do. Um... Then why didn't you remain with the outlaws? Because the Reavers who'd taken me captive came to the fort and wanted to speak to the Duke. I think they wanted to take me back. I fled when they saw me. I didn't want to be taken back, or for them to kill me to hide their crime. When I left the fort, I ran into a cleric patrol. They convinced me to go to the Hort with them. Not that I really needed that much convincing. All those hours taking scrap apart and putting it back together in Tavar really paid off there. The clerics recognized that I was good with technology. So, I've been working on mechs and AI systems since then. Building things. Trusted. Part of a team. 
And it's easier being with mechs. They don't judge anyone. They treat everyone the same. Like this place. I know it's not perfect. But outlaws, berserkers, clerics, even elves are seen as people. At least that's the vision. Not always the way it happens. That's another reason to maintain these mechs. To protect what we have here. Well, I hope you find your place in the world. It's good when you do. You know what? Well, I don't This is not the place. It's not my place. What are you doing here in Abessa? I take care of the mechs and drones here in the city. Which means I coordinate and plan their maintenance and upgrades. When I'm lucky, I get to roll up my sleeves and do some of the actual maintenance. Which I'm having to do quite a lot, with all the technicians we're missing. Say, are you good with technology? Uh, maybe? I know enough to work on Max. You do? Maybe we could take you on in a permanent position no, in the no, city. No, no, no. Do you think they would employ me? No! That's true. Alois has security concerns Alois. about taking anyone who's not been in the city long enough. So, yeah, maybe I should look for someone else. On the other hand, if you're looking for some part-time work, I could still use your help. I have four people I've been told I should look at for taking the technician's job, but I don't have time to gauge their abilities. Would that be something you could do for me? I'd pay you. Yeah, I'll talk to your candidates. Great. The four names I have are Daryl, Naira, Rorick, and Riley. Though I'm really not sure about Riley. There's something about him I don't trust. Sounds good. But speak to each of them and let me know whether you think they might have the right skills and abilities for the job. Oh, and I'll need you to let me know about their loyalties. You know, can they work with clerics? Do they hate us? We'd be trusting them with the mechs and AI that defend the Dome City. So I don't want to employ anyone who might still be thinking about their faction, not our security. Well, yeah. You're employing an, uh, an outlaw. Sure. About the candidates for technician. Yes? Tell me about Naira. Naira is an Alb separatist, so a bit of a long shot for loyalty. But she should have the technical ability we need. She's somewhere in the west of the city with the other separatists in the slums. You want to employ a separatist as a technician? We need someone. And I don't think your faction always says who you are. Albs are usually very good with technology, but you're right. I don't know if I, I can trust her. What, what am I right about? I just asked if you want... Tell me about Daryl. Daryl is an outlaw. He's applied to be a technician, but I don't know why. So I want to know his motives and what his technical experience is. I'm hoping you can get that information. If he's skilled and trustworthy, then employing him might show that we do trust outlaws here. But I don't know that much about him. I don't even know where to find him. What do you know about Rorik? Rorik is a berserker. I think I last saw him somewhere around Vito's pub. It might seem weird to consider a berserker, but I was one once. And I know Rorik used to work extracting Elix from machines in Goliath, so he knows about technology. And I think I could teach him everything else that he needs to know. And it would show that we were reaching out to the Berserkers who have come to the Dome City. Their magic is very powerful, and they're strong warriors. We will need their help if the Albs attack us from Zaykor. Nah. But it'll be important to find out if he's prepared to have anything to do with technology, before we think of offering him the job. All you need is me. At the front. Killing everything. No problem. That chest over there. Okay, well, I, she's not going to get out of here too soon, so we're not going to be able to get that chest. Okay, moving on. Uh, I, I, there was somebody missing there, but I, I didn't catch the name. Uh, somebody missing from, from the list that I, uh, of people that I could ask about. But he was fine. This is Alb. No, sorry, not Alb. This is uh, Cleric Place, west part of the city, I would get. No, it's actually south part of the city. It's the boring part of the city, as it would seem. What can I do up here? Oh, it's the barrier. Oh, you can Nasty, how did you do that? Might be an invisible barrier for me. But not for anyone else. That would be weird if that's the case. Uh, what do we have in here? Small exit bag. You should think about leaving. I should, shouldn't I? Who's talking to me, though? I don't know anything. I'm not gonna mess with that though. Okay, just wanna aggro everyone. There's no need to. I mean, I don't need any of this uh, 
any other loot. I'll still get it. Hi. Find someone else to talk to. Okay. So this is a mechanic. There's a number two here on the floor. You're never gonna win fighting that way. No. Just mechanics. Okay. Am I crazy, or is our generator power fluctuating? What is that even? <laughs> oh boy, what was that question? Anyway, let's uh, upgrade some of our weapons here, because I want to upgrade the Kaboom. So the Kaboom I can use. If I bring it up over here, will I be able to use it? I will. So, let's upgrade it. Good. How about this one? I will as well. Kaboom, level 2. Okay, I need iron ore. Well, and I will be able to, to use it as well. Sounds pretty good. Sounds very good, actually. So I'll just need to buy some iron ore. Okay. Ah, oh, then why are we still working? Hey, you. Hey. Let me guess. I'm not allowed into the upper quarter? What? No, everyone's allowed to move about freely here. I just have a question for you. You got here recently, right? I just want to know what things are like outside the dome. They're the best. What's going on out there? Parties. Are the Alps attacking? No, they're not. Um. Why do you ask? I'm interested. Yeah, parties. We're cut off here under the dome, safe from the world outside. So they pass us by like a river around a rock. Kalan gave us the knowledge, and now look what we've achieved. A safe harbor for all people. The clerics and Ignodons say we've strayed. I say we've found the true path. You found a home. You built the dome? I designed the plans for it. Then we built it together. My name is Eric, by the way. Chief engineer here in the dome. I'm in charge of all the generators and technicians who oversee them. Good job, dude. Why don't the clerics have a dome like this in Ignodon? The dome requires immense amounts of energy. And the fluctuations in it have to be constantly balanced. The technology is complex. That means there's no way to cover the Hort with a shield like this. Besides, the cliffs around Hort give it a natural protection. Yeah, from the... Um, what's the, the name of the airplanes that the Alps have? Can this dome survive an Alb attack? Of course. Why do you think we built it? As long as we can maintain a constant energy flow, then they can't get in. Unfortunately, achieving that isn't so easy. Some of the energy regulators are starting to malfunction again. I can repair the energy regulators for you. Thanks for the offer, but that's not necessary. I've already repaired the components. They just haven't all been installed yet. About the broken energy regulators. What will happen if they aren't repaired? If just one regulator fails, it could mean an emergency shutdown for the dome. Otherwise, the discharge it would create could kill a whole lot of the people the shield is supposed to be protecting. But whether it's a discharge or an emergency shutdown, both scenarios would see us defenseless. How many energy regulators are broken? Well, all of them. I've sorted replacements where I can. But Lutz hasn't received his yet. I will help you with the energy regulators. I wanted to do it myself, but... Do you really think you could handle it? And why would an outlaw want to help us? Experience. I don't trust the people of Tavar as far as I can spit. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Uh, well, I'm not like the others. Didn't you hear the song? I'm not like the other outlaws. Is that so? I know none of us profit if the Alps get in here. I want to help you make the dome safe. All right. This job needs doing, and I do need help. I have the energy regulator here. Please, take it to Lutz and help him to install it. Lutz. Come back to me when you're done. Lutz it is, an alloy. Okay, good stuff. Let's go back downstairs, because we haven't explored this properly. Hi. Okay. Uh, maybe I have. Maybe I have. I did come here, and that was... where. Oh, there's a notice. Attention, thieves. And I take that. Because, of course... Let's see. Attention thieves. Where would that be? Oh, over here. Residents of the domed city. The recent succession 
of th thefts is a threat to us all, not just to the people who, who, whose, whose property was stolen. Stay vigilant. Report suspicious behavior to the authorities. Keep your valuables secure. Do not trust any stranger. Report anything out of the ordinary. Anyone found to be cooperating with the thieves will be punished. But not the thieves, apparently. From Alois, the city administrator. Yeah, we heard that he hates thieves. All I need to tell him is that I'm not a thief. I I mean, he's a cleric, so he'll believe me. That other guy did. I Let's just told personally. him told him I wasn't like the others. Oh, hey, Paige. Ah, huh. what do we have here? Fresh meat? Watch your mouth, Paige, before I stuff your legs into it. No need to be nasty, nasty. Just bringing the feel of Tavar to the Dome City. How did you get the guard to let you into the Dome? I didn't think they'd ever let one of us in again. However you got in, you're going to find it even harder to get out. The clerics are a little jumpy at the moment. You might say paranoid. So, when they do let someone in, it does make me wonder who they are and why the clerics thought letting them in was a good idea. Well, getting out is very, very easy. I just teleport. But the problem is I can't get in again. If it's so hard to get in, what are you doing here? I got in before things got so paranoid. And I came here for profit, of course. Lots of nervous people close to the Albs tend to be willing to invest shards in their safety, you see. And getting hold of supplies is hard out here. So, if you can get them, you can sell them for a high price. Well, that was the plan. Now, the clerics have stopped me trading and cut off all the supplies. And you just let them do that? Of course I didn't let them. But getting around their ban isn't simple. It's impossible to get by the guards without an ID card. No, well. And they took mine from me as part of their crackdown. Now they say I'm causing trouble. But what else is a businesswoman supposed to do when she has her business taken from her? I thought businesswoman was a whole word. Because I think businessman is as well. So businesswoman is as well. About your trade ban. Yeah, yeah, don't tell me. Trading weapons can pose a danger to the community. Can it? But this is about self-defense. The only person who can stop a person with a gun is a person with an even bigger gun. An upgraded Am bigger right? gun. Yeah. I mean, what? Are we supposed to throw Why would you want to stop a person with a gun anyway? Attack? But the clerics want to keep all oh, the, the guns elves. for themselves yeah. and screw the rest of us. They call it neutrality, but I say it's oppression. Yeah. We need to be able to trade everything. Profit. Uh, you've been stupid. <laughs> what else did you expect? Uh, well, she hasn't really been stupid, I guess. She came in here before the oppression. Not the oppression, as she calls it. Uh, yeah. Sounds like you could use some help. Yes. Yes, I could. Still, let's say he's right. And that I could get a hold of supplies. Not from Tavar, obviously. They've blocked that route. Let's say I could get some weapons from the Separatists, for example. Let's say they have weapons and need shards. And that they also have the business acumen of a stunned troll. So they need a salesperson. Me, for example. What if I was to say that? And what if I was to say that I have to find someone who could enter and leave the city freely? If I was to say that, then what would you say? Oh. <laughs> she is, yeah, well, I think we have to resign ourselves to how dangerous the situation is anyway. Do you really think you can trust the Separatists? I can't leave without profit. Hell, right now I can't eat without profit. So I need this deal. So if you blab, what have I lost? Nothing. And without any guns to show, it's just your word against mine. And even Alois isn't going to see that as see? justice. it's better. Alois, but not... No, actually, she pronounced it like the other ones. It's Alois. I could help you get your weapons. Good. Right. So, this Why was is that what you lines? need to do. Leave the city and find a separatist called Radok. I think he's a separatist. But whatever he is, he's a mad fucker. I can't make sense of most of what he says. But he has the weapons, and he likes trade. I think he likes trade. It's hard to tell. He wants to sell the weapons, but you'll have to work on him, okay? He won't just hand them over. Where can I find Radok? Up in the Highlands. When we last spoke, he told me he was going to head over to the Northeast. 
He mentioned an abandoned wind turbine. With luck, he'll still be out there. Okay. Sounds like a good deal. Let's get all the weapons up in ya. Upgraded weapons would be the best, though. Speaking of which, I still need to find where I can buy my iron ore. Because <sighs> I want to upgrade the kaboom. See how that goes. So. Pretty colorful, colorful area over here. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Mm, just a bunch of pumpkins. Hey, you. Hey. I heard you speaking to Eric. Oh, yeah. He gave you an energy regulator for the dome, right? Yep. Give it to me, will you? Mm. Very soon now, you're going to need the right sort of friend, and giving that to me will earn you that. Nah, I already have rat. Why do you want the regulator? Haven't you noticed the tension here? All the anger and the plotting? It scares the hell out of me. So I want a way out of here if things go wrong. A sort of back door. Oh, you're gonna get a back door. The regulator so I can drop a section of the dome and get out if things go bad. Pierced in you with a sword. It. Then I'll give it back to you so you can get it to where it needs Not to be. Not by me, though. You've got to see why I'd want a way out, yeah? So do we have a deal? No. Just we don't. You don't need it. They're gonna kill you. I mean, they might kill me just for having it. What's in it for me if I help you? Profit is profit. I respect that attitude. Th what do you think about a hundred shards? Pitiful. Pitiful. I won't give you the regulator. Then you've blown your chance. And don't come back to me and ask for help when no one will let you out of here. Pfft. I can teleport, dude. Did you flee here from the desert? Flee? No. But to live in Tavar, you need shards. And despite my talents, I wasn't one of the Duke's favorites, and that made making a profit hard. You think it's better here? Yes, for sure. For me, at least. And those berserkers are the worst for it. One of those assholes killed my friend for fun. Now that bastard is focused on me and nobody's helping me. Even though they know it'll be their turn next and keeping their head down won't save them. I don't know who you're talking about. Who is this berserker that's giving you trouble? Braback. A bull of a man and twice as ugly. Him. Bone Maybe not. breaking bastard. About Braback. Leave Braback to me. You'll deal with him? That would be great. Really great. You won't find me trying to put you off that. If you think you can scare him off so he leaves me alone, that would be good. Even if I do, I think ramming a knife into his guts would be a better approach. Yes. I would have tried that myself. But if I'd failed... But, but, but if you do get rid of him, however you do it, then I will pay you. Don't worry. Jax is a very violent guy. It's fine. Let's trade. Okay. Oh! He, that was great. Uh, iron hole uh, or stake that. Only three. It's not very good. Thank you very much. You fucked up then, didn't you? Shut up, nasty. What do you even? What is that even supposed to be? It's like, shut up. <laughs> She's talking about the fact that she didn't like that I didn't give him the generator or whatever that is, uh, and she says that. I don't understand but I, I didn't understand what she said before either she was pretty mad sounded pretty mad uh, but yeah whatever anyway we need to talk to Braback we need to kill nah, I'm not gonna kill you you never know if these guys are gonna aggro or not I don't trust f attacking attacking friendly units oh it's Paige hi Paige did I come over here before I think I didn't so you're just going around okay hi Riley did you lose something uh, yeah, I did. I did. I lost, uh... I lost, uh, an energy bar. Mm, maybe I didn't, actually. No, I didn't. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. These guys. Very protective of their energy bars. Hi. Yeah? Not now. Well, it's separatists. Hey, Yorg! If you're here for the food rations, then I'll tell you what I told the other hundred people. Someone must have been making a joke. I don't have anything to sell or give out. So you can just turn around and leave. What are you talking about? The free rations. The free rations, as if there would ever be free rations. Ah, but you're not here you for You guys that, charge you? for the rations? You have rations? Then I'm sorry. And you charge? I, I have been the butt of a joke that has left me rather angry, and I thought... Well... I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. It's just... I'm just so sick of it. The belligerence between the berserkers and outlaws. Everything was simpler when I was a cultivator in Goliath. 
We had laws and everyone obeyed them. Why can't people just all work together? You don't have laws here. What? I don't understand. If you feel that way, why don't you go back to Goliath? <sighs> no, no. Those days are gone. I left willingly to establish a world heart here in Abessa. But when it became clear that the seedling wouldn't grow, Caleb decided that we would remain here. And... And whatever Caleb says is best. But now, no. I can't go back. We went against orders from Goliath. If I go back now, they'll just stick me in a cage. No questions asked. Ah, so that explains it. Anyway, that's going to be that for this episode. I am Curl RPG, and this has been Elex. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.